we're keeping going. Okay, so relationships. Now, let's say you figured out that person that you want. You figured out who Mr. Wright or Mrs. Wright is, and you need to try and figure out how to start talking to them. I can help you with this, by the way. You're going to see at the end the coaching that I do. Relationship coaching is a lot of it. I take you from start to finish. I help you get him. I help you get her. But let's assume for now. What you want to do here, I give you a secret, by the way. This is the universal first date, like the best first date in the world. Ready? Coffee. Coffee's the best first date in the world. And I tell you why. It can be as short or as long as you like. You know, it's cheap, it's easy, it can take 10 minutes if it's not working, it can take four hours if it is working. So trust me on this. Coffee. If you don't just want to go to Starbucks, you know, find some other cool local place. But believe me, skip the steak dinner on the first date for both of your sakes. <laughs> go get coffee. Um, second thing, for those of you that are looking, Believe it or not, maybe you should try looking for people on the internet. I mean, it's the year 2010. It happens, right? All online dating does is remove time and space from the dating equation. See, right now, to meet somebody, you have to be in the same place, think each other attractive, have the opportunity to talk, talk and hit it off, right? If you look for somebody online, at least you know more about them than the fact that they have a pretty face. You know, I, I mean, and sometimes people still misrepresent themselves. There's still some creeps on the Internet. I know it's shocking that there's creeps on the Internet, but I, I didn't expect it either. But honestly, at least you have some insight into who they are. And I have a lot of people that are like, you know, oh, I couldn't do that. That's just weird. Yeah, so meeting people in a bar is awesome, right? Or sitting at home alone eating ice cream. No, that makes total sense. No? Like I said, get in motion. Get in the game. Do something. It's fine. Okay? Now... For your current relationship, again, if you're already kind of drifting apart or if you're already familiar with the person that you want to have and you know you want to have this person in your life, start doing just little nice things for them. Like if you've seen The Secret, especially for relationships, they give an idea where you can write down everything that you like about that person every day. Um, that's a really good one. Or like we talked about in the last episode, just when you look at that other person, that significant other, just think about something positive about them before you say anything to them. Just think something nice about them. You know, when you're walking up to your husband, don't look at him and think, you know, oh, you lazy so-and-so. You know, just, let, you know, think about what, what a great handyman he is, how great he is with the kids. You know, that sort of thing. And before, even if you don't tell him, just before you say anything to him, just form that great image of, you know, how wonderful your wife is, what a fantastic cook she is, and then say what it is that you have to say. Okay? And when you're talking to people, be honest. Just be honest. I mean, I, I recognize there's a little bit of the game, you know, that the, the, you got to go back and forth. If you, if you tell them that you love them on the first date, that kind of tends to weird people out. Yeah, I, I mean, I understand that. But for the most part, you know, you're both adults and your feelings are valid. And if you can't be open, if you can't be honest, if you can't communicate with one another, you don't really have a relationship anyway. You know, I, I mean, I've, I've talked to a few people and it's like, oh, we're so in love. You know, I love him. He loves me. You know, I, I, I just want to get married. And I'm like, well, have you talked about getting married? Well, no. Are you going to talk about getting married? Oh, I'm afraid. You know, if you, if you can't even have the conversation, then you probably don't have the makings of a, of a relationship. And I've been married for almost seven years now. And I mean, things come up, you know, kids and, and, and money and just the ups and downs and vicissitudes of life will come between you. And so you have to be able to keep that open flow of dialogue. Okay. And I know I'm bouncing back and forth on this, but like I said, it all kind of applies. When you're looking at that person that you're going to date, it's fine if you all aren't clones of one another. It's fine if you don't agree on everything. As long as you respect one another and respect one another's differences. That's what's important. If you can find a person that you can love and grow with and support, who is going to love and grow with and support you, then you two can take over the world together, right? You just have to be, you have to have an understanding about the basics. You know, it's like you have to be on the same level in the relationship. Like if one of you is in this because it's true love and one of you is in it just for sex, 
it's not going to work out. <laughs> okay? If you're both in love, great. If you're both in it for sex, great. You're adults. I'm not here to judge. But you got to make sure you're on the same level, right? You know, do you both want kids? Roughly, what kind of, you know, environment do you want those children raised in? You know, roughly, what kind of religious environment do you want for them? If one of you is Jewish and one of you is Christian, no problem. If one of you is a, a, a pagan and the other one's an atheist, but you just decide that you just won't talk about it. <laughs> no problem. Just make sure that there's an accord, okay? That, you, that you're on the same level, all right? Now, I've kind of gone all over the place in this one, to tell you the truth. When I go back and watch it and I write the article for this on TheExaminer.com, maybe I'll kind of try and tighten it up a little bit. But here's the thing. Uh, this is what I want you to leave with. You are fantastic and you're worth loving. Relationships are worthwhile, but... You don't have to have it. And you don't have to have it with a certain person. You know, just keep yourself open to the possibility. And when the right person presents themselves, you'll know it. Okay? And be honest. Love that person. Let them know you love them. You do that, everything else will take care of itself. So, like always, thank you. I love you. You're fantastic. All of these episodes are up on Facebook, on my fan page for B. Dave Walters. If you can't find them anywhere, at least you can always find it there. Hit me on Facebook, on my website, peacelovemoney.com, Twitter, at B. Dave Walters. I'm on MySpace. I tell you, I'm everywhere. I love you. You're fantastic. You're worth it. That special someone loves you, too. And you're going to find them. If you've already found them, go right now. Look them in the eye. Tell them you love them. Do it. It's fantastic. Okay. Talk to you soon. Hey everybody, B. Dave Walters here. If you like these videos or my articles or the things that I write, then you might want to check out my book, 49 Lost Secrets of Peace, Love, and Money. This is my Vanna White moment here. Uh, in it, I explain all seven universal laws. You know, the law of attraction is just one part of one of the laws. I explain all seven of them. And I also explain the seven areas of life, how you can break everything down and apply all the laws to every aspect of your life so that you can be happy and fulfilled and have more peace, more love, and more money. So check it out. As you can see, it's a really big, thick book. It's brilliant, if I do say so myself. So check out my website, peacelovemoney.com, to find out more. Okay, bye-bye. Hey everybody, B. Dave Walters, life strategist and spiritual coach. What I do is I help people figure out what it is that they want out of life and more importantly, how to get it. And because of the economy and a lot of things that have been going on, I want you to know I've completely redesigned my coaching program to make it accessible for everybody. Because as much as I love doing these videos and articles, it's much more effective when you and I can talk back and forth and talk about you and your situation and what's going on. So what I've done is I've developed an email coaching program where I'll send out daily emails, videos, podcasts, and just things to kind of help you stay inspired and motivated. And whenever you have a question or a problem or something, shoot me an email. We'll go back and forth and we'll figure it out. And we also have a VIP option available. So, you know, you can have access to me on Skype. We can chat and just little special gifts that I'll send out periodically for my VIP people. The regular email coaching starts at $25 a month. You spend more than that at Starbucks, and the VIP starts at $50 a month, and a lot of us still spend more than that at Starbucks. So, if you're interested, you want to work with me, you want me to help you get where you're trying to go, visit my website, peacelovemoney.com, to find out more. Okay.